Hello viewers, Mescal here. I'm making a home for this uh, and we'll uh, set it up with a nice little well positioned stick. We'll sit at a nice level like that inside the uh, fish tank and that'll give it somewhere to make its web and dangle above all the uh, um, critters that will be um, put in there for feeding it. I just had it outside with the torch inside the uh, um, fish tank with the lid off so that bugs flew in. Um, you can see there's down here there's a little moth, a whole bunch of small flying things. There's one crawling around there if we can get the camera to focus. Um, so yeah, as soon as this guy lands, or this girl lands in there, she'll have something to feed on. She's been uh, starved for the night, so she'll be pretty hungry. Wouldn't mind getting some sand and putting it in there too to give it a sort of, a, you know, not too uh, unnatural look. All right, let's get that stick in there. Hopefully the bugs will stay in there while the light's down the bottom. Made this with a bit of tension so that it'll hold itself in place. Perfect. Got one. Looks like she didn't starve that much. The uh, the little male or whatever it was that I caught has been consumed. It's all dry and crispy. Uh, I've got my special tongs I made. You can see these how they've got a, a smooth end on them, and they're really light to. To use so they wouldn't squash it. Okay. You can't get out of there. So we'll let her settle in. We've got a couple of moths in there. A well placed stick so that she can set up a web between those so that she can drop down from that web and pick up passers by, which is how they operate. There's dinner up there. That little moth. Bugs in there as well that should keep it going. All right, that's how I made the uh, the home. There's a nice little spider here. I'll catch that and throw it in. Looks like this spider has the same hunting style as um, Miss Redback over here, but uh, he's a lot more active. Probably going to get that moth first. This thing looks exactly like a redback, only it's white. Well, we got dinner then.
This is the first of those orb weavers I've seen this season. Big and hairy. Anything touching your feet or was he crawling on you? Oh. Backlight it, she'll get a feed. Mock will come running through. Just moved up there. Come on, moths. Oh, here we go. No. Fend for yourself then. This guy up here is cheating. Orb weaver, and he's just sitting hovering above it. Taking advantage of someone else's trap. Very clever indeed. This is just a quick walk around outside. There's bloody spiders everywhere. So it's two days later, and this thing has had its, um, its egg sac hatch. Look at all those spiderlings in the web there. Uh, there's the discarded egg sac. Come down here. There it is. So that's what's left of it after they've come out. Yeah, this thing looks very much like a redback in the pattern. Um, on its back and its behaviour and its web form. It's, um, it's quite interesting. I wonder if it's a mutant freak. <laughs>